everyone, today I'm going to do a pastels trend for you. I already have my mascara, brows and foundation on um, from doing another tutorial, but I'm, I'm going to just top up my foundation by Clinique. Um, the anti-blemish foundation and the foundation brush. I wasn't sure what this foundation would be like. I thought it would be really matte and really heavy to try and cover acne, but really it's really nice and I made sure to do a good review of it for you guys that I wore it for a good couple of days to check that I liked it and I've got it on now and I really really do like it a lot so I'm just going to top that up just to show you a little it has good coverage similar coverage to the NARS Sheer Glow but a slightly more matte and more coverage really it lasted all day on my skin which is so important for me I can't bear foundations that don't last because I feel messy halfway through the day and I just hate that so thumbs up to this foundation for lasting really well and it felt nice on my skin and it didn't make me break out and you guys know that I have problems if you've watched my videos before. I have foundations that I love, but I can't wear them because they make me break out. So this one is another one that I will probably be using regularly since I enjoyed using it. And it was good for my skin. So yeah, really nice foundation from Clinique. I'm a fan of all their foundations. So it wasn't a surprise, but it was a surprise as an anti-blemish foundation that it was so nice. Now this was sent to me as well by NARS, and oh my god, I love NARS, but I wasn't overly excited about this when I'd seen it on the website, because I'm not, um, I've only ever tried one of their other multiples and I didn't adore it, but this one is called Tuamota, I don't know how to pronounce that and what it is is a cream bronzer and I use my 109 brush with it and what I do is I just swirl the 109 brush onto that and then I use it as a contour because it's matte and it's I guess it's kind of like the Chanel cream bronzer but it's such a nicer colour just show you guys it's really is a divine product see it creates a really natural but lovely cheekbone it also lasts really well on the skin I've been using it all week oh I love it it's so lovely so totally recommend this it comes in different colours for darker skin tones and lighter skin tones but the one I have is called Tumota if I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, I don't even know whether I've said what video I'm doing. I'm doing a pastels trend because pastels are so big this spring. I'm going to use Jux Eyeshadow by MAC, which is this one here. It's a beautiful, beautiful pastel -y green. I love it so much and don't get to use it enough, so it's exciting. On the MAC 239, I'm just pressing this onto the lid. In fact, I'm definitely going to wear this this summer. It's such a gorgeous eyeshadow. This tutorial is super, super easy. Just a quick spring summery look. Just really packing that on. Jux has amazing colour payoff actually. Much better than Bitter, which is like an acid yellow or acid green from MAC. Lilac would be a good eyeshadow for this look, but I'm kind of wearing a lilac -y colour on the lips, so I will be. Just blending this to the 217. Just blending the top line of shadow. Don't blend over the whole shadow or you'll rub it off. Tiny bit more mascara for my Turbo Lash, which I'm going to cry when this runs out because it's so good. Still vibrating away though. 
Okay, you want to take a cool toned blusher, no kind of warm colours on the cheeks. So I'm using dandelion just a touch of this. On the lip I'm taking, now I never use this lipstick, but it is perfect for this trend and it's Snob by MAC. It's kind of like Angel but more lilac-y and kind of like Saint Germain but not so pale. Okay, so there you have it, that's the super easy, super quick pastels trend. Have fun with it, you can mix up the colours. I've chosen a pastel green and like a pastel lilac pink, just a pastel pink really. But you could use pastel blue on the eyes and say Mac um, Saint Germain on the lips. Um, you could go for a real pastel pink blush, that would be really cute. Um, yeah, so have fun with it and I'll see you again soon.